How you doing? And thanks for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, trucks, buses, particularly like this very nice 2020 F-350 Super Duty. Limited. Yeah, that's limited. You only get a few of these. What are we looking at? All right. This is for construction industry. Does some highway work, pulls off once in a while. So on the front of this, we wanted to keep it real discreet. Uh, owner's comments were nothing gaudy, nothing extremely visible. And he will, he really likes the grill on the Limited. He did not want anything in the grill or distracting in the grill. So we stayed out of the grill. Underneath the factory fog light in that bezel, we have our Thin X LIN series. That's an amber white light. You can select it to be amber. You can select it to be white. You can select it to be both like we did here. You can select it to alternately flash inside the light itself, which is like a side-by-side, three-by-three flash, which is what you're seeing here. And if I dial down the ISO, maybe you can kind of see a little closer. There you go. How it's wig-wagging left and right and changing colors. You can also select this entire light to flash on and off each color if you like that pattern better. This light also has flood white mode. We didn't elect to use that on this build, but it does have it. Above that, you'll notice the white mirror spotlights. They're being flashed with our auto flasher module. That's on the white forward facing mirror spotlights. You do need to have those, so make sure that your vehicle is equipped to flash them. They must be there. And the upper trim levels all have them, but I'm sorry the XL guys are out of luck on those. There's a little side shot. That fog pocket works really nice. It is cantered off on a little bit of an angle, so as you can see, you get a good view of it when you're pulled over on the side of the road. You might also see some reflection there in the badges. We put our Thin X, the very same light, in those badges as well, facing backwards. And on the badges, we went with the full color alternation amber white in the extremely fast seizure pattern, uh, just because that's about all we have on the front side of this truck. So uh, we went a little faster. Here you can see a little better view of the mirror and that side badge light. Alrighty, taking you around the back of this truck, you'll see we use that thin X light again. Very similar to what we did in the front fog light bezel, only we mounted it on the plastic trim above the license plate. Normally that trim might hold three red clearance lights on the dual rear wheel truck, but uh, on the non-dual rear wheel, it's just a placeholder. So we mounted lights on it. It's a nice drill-free option. You don't have to drill any metal in the bed. And if you wanted, you could always order a new plastic trim piece and remove the lights. And it was like you never had them. Above that, you'll notice the factory LED reverse lights. This is a limited, so it's a full LED lighting package. So you cannot drill any hideaways or change the color in those LED lights. There's just no room to drill in them whatsoever. So we can flash that, though, with the Wicked Warnings Auto Flasher module, which you can see here on the reverse. A little bit of the side profile shows you our Lin 8 light tucked there nicely underneath the tail light. That's a brand new light we just got here. It's a dual color. You can see the entire light is flashing amber and white, and that has a flood mode as well integrated into it. We didn't use the flood mode on this build, but it does do it in, in floods and white. And uh, again, that's an entire color swap on that light from amber to white, and that's a Lin 8. Up in the front badge again, that's our Thin X set in a much faster pattern you can see but that's the same light that's underneath the tailgate as well as in the front underneath the fog light i'll show you a little bit of the mounting here that's where we mounted that thin x i chose to push it all the way to the bottom just to kind of separate it a little bit in case the fog light was on help it stand out a little bit but uh, you could mount it up a little higher if you wanted to tuck it right under the fog light you could also tint that light if you liked it smoked and slightly shadowed to disappear in there you do lose a tiny bit of brightness, though, when you tint, so keep that in mind. But uh, with that black plastic behind it, it would pretty much disappear if it was lightly tinted, which we do offer. Here's that light, very same light, mounted in the badge. That's our Thin-X light again, and uh, that's a fairly easy mount. You do have to drill a little hole for the wire and uh, use a little piece of plastic or a speed clip behind it for the screw to grab into. If you're very careful, sometimes you can get the screw to bite into the mesh of that grill, but I like to put something behind there, uh, as in a little piece of plastic or a speed clip, to anchor it even further. And I know the next question, where do the wires go? So let me show you. As you can see right there in the door jam, 
that dime size circular indentation, that's a plastic bulkhead. You're going to want to reach in from the engine side and pull back some of that foam insulation that's in the way and drill a little hole right through that plastic dime size right there. And once the badge is removed, you can reach your hand right around and run the wire through there. And it comes out in the inner fender well right underneath the hood. Easy to hook up to your auxiliary switches. Those auxiliary switches right there. That's the very same one we're hooked up to right here on number six. We've also moved the fuse to make that switch work with or without the key. So as you can hear, the engine and the key's off and the switch is still functional. That's a modification that only works on five and six. As you can see, four is not working. That's factory. We didn't really do that. Ford offers that. All you have to do is move a fuse. All right, tucked nicely underneath this tail light here, facing sideways, is our Lin 8. You can see that's a full array, dual color light. Light it up for you and you kind of see where we mount it there. I usually try to mount right from the corner of the plastic there, outward. And uh, you may or may not want to put the tail light back in so you can tuck it in just underneath the tail light like that. Totally your call. And if your bumper is too high and pinching, it's an easy fix. There's a bunch of bolts on the inside of the bumper, and then you can lower it down a little bit. Many times Ford sets those bumpers extremely high. Not a big deal, just lower it down a little. Out back here, you can see that panel I was talking about normally holds three red lights if you have a dual wheel truck, now holds our thin X light. I will say this, keep the thin X light towards the lower part of the panel. See this gap on the very top? That's intentional. If you keep this thin X all the way to the top, you may end up with a slight clearance to the bottom of the gate here. So just keep it to the bottom. It'll be right above the bumper, as you can see, and it'll work just fine. You run the wiring right through the square hole behind it and over to your switch. Thanks again for watching. This is George again here at Wicked Warnings. Remember, we're your number one source for all your construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting equipment needs. And you can check the video description or the little eye up in the corner on the upper right for links to all of these products and as well as at wickedwarnings.com make sure you head on over to the website wickedwarnings.com and take a walk around there take a look at all the new things that are exciting developments we're posting new products almost every week over there thanks again for watching we'll see you on the next video